my name is Denise and welcome to Suncoast Crafting. Today we will use dot stick adhesive to decorate an inexpensive framed picture of a pink flower. I am reviewing Diamond Dots branded products for these projects. I have included a variety of links for the products in the show notes. I selected these options because I use them myself. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. Wherever you choose to shop, as always, look for coupons, sales, and special deals. With all methods, it is recommended to use protective film over the project to protect it from dust, cat hair, and whatever else might get caught on the adhesive. The official instructions also recommend rolling over the whole project with a brayer or rolling pin at the end to make sure that the diamonds are firmly adhered. You can use dot stick and diamonds to decorate in several ways. Today, we will follow the lines on a framed pre-made picture of a pink flower. Once you've decided on your design, prepare the diamond dotting area with dot stick. Brush the adhesive on areas where the diamonds will be applied and wait for the milky white adhesive to dry clear. Then apply the diamonds to the project. You can apply dot stick to part of the surface or you can apply it all over. If you paint a larger area, you only have to wait for it to dry once. But be careful to protect it from dust, cat hair, and well, you know. When using dot stick, choose projects that won't need to be washed often or projects that won't get a lot of wear and tear. Let's talk about the cost. Let's talk about the pattern. There is no specific pattern for this project. We are following the lines on the flower artwork, which I bought from Dollar General for $6. Let's talk about the brushes. The metal glue brushes in a 36 pack are $6.99 or $19 per brush. They get down to 11 cents per brush if you buy a pack of 144 brushes. They come in different sizes and you can probably find them for even less. Let's talk about the glue. I bought a bottle of Dot Stick from Joann's for $9. I will use this bottle on several projects. Let's talk about the diamonds. I picked out seven colors for this project. I ended up selecting a mix of new and leftover diamonds. For consistency, let's say I bought all the colors new from Joann's without a coupon or sale. That's seven colors at $2 a bottle for a total of $14. Of course, your project will have different colors with a different mix of new and recycled diamonds. Let's talk about finishing the project. The Minwax Polycrylic Spray was $16.99 at Ace Hardware. I will use this on more than one project. So the total for this project is $46.18 for the pink flower. The total assumes you are using these items only for this one project and you are using all new items, nothing left over from another project. I selected an inexpensive framed pink flower for this project, but selecting different artwork changes the total cost. Was this fun? Yes, this was definitely fun. It was fun to relax and add sparkle to this inexpensive picture and I can see myself doing this with so many different styles of art from craft stores, clearance aisles, and garage sales. 
So what will you decorate? Will you give your project as a gift or will you keep it for yourself? If you have a masterpiece that you created on your own instead of from a pre-made diamond painting kit, please leave a link in the comments to your YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and so on site to share your beautiful work. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to working on more projects that you are interested in. Please like and subscribe and join us again for Suncoast Crafting.